just having a peep outside and it just... <laughs> so we're going to have that, come on. Do it slowly. Come on. Hello, is there anybody here? Shh. What's that noise? I'm trying to think of an explanation now. I've got all goosebumps. I've got goosebumps all over me, mate. Don't like it, Stu. I've got goosebumps all over me. I don't like it. It's like. What? Ah. Stu, Stu, tell me what, what happened? What? Gee, ah! Oh. F***ing hell, fire! F***ing me am! Ah! Oh, f***! Oh. Shit! Oh. Who's that? Who's that? It's up to you. you can come down if you like. Come down. What's been happening? Oh, man, that's... Oh, there's so much pain. What happened, Stu? Tell me. I heard a noise, but then... Take your jacket off. Oh, Keep going. It's long, mate. What's been going on? What's the matter? I'm in so much pain. It's unbelievable. Why? What's happening? You've explained it. How could we have been hearing you? Screaming. Oh, we came down here and I said to Stuart, I don't want to go in here for some reason. And, it, and I kept saying I felt like someone was watching us constantly. Despite both men suffering within the chilling confines of the cellar walls, both wanted to return. But this time, with Derek and Kieran on hand, should more mayhem ensue. The difficulty is that it might have been something to do with the mood of Stuart and Carl, mm. the way they said something, and it's almost impossible to try and replicate that exactly. And although the desired repeat of supposed poltergeist activity didn't materialise a second time, we felt that something lay within this building's walls that had even the most sceptical of onlookers puzzling over our recorded evidence. Our many other vigils around the hall failed to produce any other phenomena, but one tortured soul does appear to have been prevalent throughout our investigation of Tissington Hall. And before we departed, David kept his earlier word by returning to room four. Here the psychic opened the door for Wilhelmina Fitzherbert to finally and fearlessly cross over into the light. But whether she chooses to do so remains up to her. Wilhelmina, please, if you're here, Please draw closer to us. We ask with all humility and respect. I think it's best to believe that she's here. Yes. She's actually praying. And she can go if she wants, can't she, David? With the doors now open for Wilhelmina, this brings our 24 hours in Derbyshire to a close. The investigation at Tissington Hall was fantastic. There was apparent paranormal phenomena captured and some very impressive mediumistic communication. One of the repeatable phenomena that we heard was footsteps in the corridor. Having discounted the fact that it could have been one of the motion sensors that was set up by the hall owners, the only possible normal explanation could be that it was something to do with the floorboards in the corridor or perhaps the window frames opening out onto the corridor and that because of the climate, because of the temperature at that particular point, it may have been causing what sounded like footsteps. There were interesting incidents in the cellar. Um, Carl and Stuart um, were extremely frightened down there. Um, the door slammed shut of its own accord. Myself and Yvette and one or two others went down there after them and there's no doubt about it, the atmosphere had most definitely changed. In discussing this particular phenomena with Carl, he makes a very valid point, and I completely agree with him. 
And that is that the shot of the cellar door does not discount the possibility that somebody was behind it and was actually pushing it. For that reason, we have to be a little bit skeptical of that particular phenomena. And also bear in mind that it doesn't actually match any of the previous eyewitness accounts that come from the cellar. Tissington Hall is most definitely haunted, but I still think that it is only haunted by Wilhelmina Fitzherbert. Has Tissington Hall proved to be the property that changes your way of thinking? We leave with a whole host of findings, but has one grounded soul finally escaped the building that so cruelly took her life? Until next time, sleep tight. When solving the case seems impossible, we turn to Tony Stockwell. This is the murder scene here. The psychic detective, new and exclusive to Living TV. That's in just